Welcome to science class. This is Teacher Kella, your science teacher. Stages in the life cycle of the organisms. Chicken grows from egg. Plant grows from seed. Human grows from birth. Let's learn about the life cycle of human, plants, and animals. Human, plants, and animals undergo physical changes which started from birth or hatching. And this is called metamorphosis or a biological change, which means we do not exactly look like what we are young when we grow old. A life cycle has different stages. Most insects has four stages. In this lesson, let us have the life cycle stages of the frogs and the butterflies. So the first stage is egg, in which a female insect lays tiny eggs. These are butterfly eggs, and these are frogs' eggs. The second stage is the larva stage. The egg hatches into a larva. On the butterfly's life cycle, it is called caterpillar. And on the frog's life cycle, it is called tadpole. During this stage, tadpole have gills, and they live in the water. Third stage is the pupa stage. The caterpillar weaves a cocoon. And in this pupa stage, on the butterfly's life cycle, it is called chrysalis. On the frog's life cycle, it is called young frog or froglet. As you can see, the froglet has tail, but it already has grown legs. The last stage is the adult. From a pupa, there emerged a beautiful butterfly with its wonderful wings. And the adult frog already has no tail. Again, this is the life cycle of the butterfly. First is the egg. Second is the larval stage which is called caterpillar. Third is the pupal stage which is called chrysalis, then the adult butterfly. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. So let's have the life cycle of the frog. First, let's have this egg, tadpole, froglet, Ad adult frog. Okay, again, it has four stages. One, two, three, four. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. Let's learn about human life cycle. The first stage is birth. As our mother gave birth to us, it is the start of our life cycle. The second stage is infancy. In this stage, we are very independent or totally independent to adults. We cannot talk, we cannot eat alone, we cannot walk alone, we cannot run. Totally dependent from adults. This stage is the childhood stage in which we already have learned habits like we can walk, we can talk, we can run, we can play. We can even go to school. The fourth stage is the adolescence stage. And this stage, it is also the puberty stage in which girls will have their menstruation and then boys will have facial hairs and even new tone of voices. And the final stage is the adulthood. Human being is fully grown in this stage. We can live independently. Well, in this stage, we have work and we can even have our own family. Let us now have the life cycle of a fruit bearing plant. The first stage is the seed. As we plant the seed, it will become a seedling and it is the second stage. During this stage, there takes the germination process. Germination, is, it is where the seed starts to grow, like this one. 
The third stage is the young plant. And the last stage is the adult plant, in which the formation of flowers and seeds in a fertilized. It is also called the pollination process. The life cycles of plants and animals may be different, but there are biological similarities between them. Although they have their own specific life cycle, all life cycles are the same in that they begin with birth and end with death. Let's have this again. Human undergoes five stages of development, which are first, birth, second is infancy, then childhood, then adolescence, and the final one is adulthood. How about plants? Plants have four stages of development, from seed, second is seedling, third is young plant, and the last one is adult plant. On animals, there are animals that undergo complete metamorphosis. When we say complete metamorphosis, it has four stages. So like this one, the ladybug love cycle started with egg, then larva, pupa, ladybug. This is the life cycle of the beetle from egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Again, when the insect or an animal undergo four stages of the life cycle, it is called complete metamorphosis. When we say complete metamorphosis, it has four stages. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. Let's have more examples. So, this is the frog's life cycle. Egg, tadpole, froglet, adult. And the mosquito, eggs, larva, pupa, and adult. So, the larva of the mosquito is called wriggler. Here, as you see, the mosquito slowly emerge from the pupa stage. So, they do it slowly so that their wings will not get wet. And if the wings will get wet, they will die because they cannot fly. Again, here is the life cycle of the butterfly from egg to caterpillar, to chrysalis, to adult butterfly. And this is also the life cycle of the fly from egg, then the larva stage, and then the pupa stage, and the adult fly. So you can see this in the garbage. So those white worms in the garbage, that is the larva of the fly. Here are examples of animals with incomplete metamorphosis. When we say incomplete metamorphosis, it has three stages. Let's have this one. The life cycle of the grasshopper from egg to nymph to adult. Another example is the life cycle of the cockroach from egg to nymph to adult. So the second stage is nymph. So... As you observe, the nymph almost look like the adult. Again, the nymph almost look like the adult. Another example is the life cycle of the chicken from egg to chick to adult chicken. So you see, the chick is almost look the same as the adult chicken. And the other example is our kuto or head lice. So from egg, yung lisa, to kuya mad, the nymph, to adult kuto. So the kuto. So as you can see, again, the kuya mad looks the same as the kuto. So again, the nymph almost looks the same with the adult. That's all. Thank you.